Hi, it's Beverly Ten here over at Crafting Chaos and I'm going to show you in my video how to use the Brother Canvas workspace software to trace an image that you can then use in your card making, scrapbooking, whatever. I was recently asked to do this because what I'd done was made some coral for a card that I'd actually made for a niece of mine and although I had a stamp of the coral I actually wanted a little bit more 3D and I wanted the coral to be a little bit bigger in places so I'm going to get you through that process now so the first thing you'll need to do is go to um, your own preferred search engine I just prefer Google Chrome but that's up to you what you use um, once you've got your Google Chrome open type in uh, something like silhouette coral because that's what I'm looking for and I'm looking for uh, an image so I'll click on the image tab and it should bring up lots of images of coral so just give that a minute to load okay so I'm looking for something that's a nice clean image that's clearly not copyright copyrighted through like this one and this one looks okay dream time image of, of coral there's another one further down there's different ones just be careful when you choose a file that you think is not a copyright image so then I'm going to save the image and for ease today I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to call it coral okay so I'll save that and as you can see hopefully when I get to it that coral image has now saved to my um, desktop to desktop I'm working on a Mac but the similar sort of process would work exactly the same if you're using a Mac or you are using a Windows um, Explorer or other Windows software on a PC so the next thing to do is to find the canvas workspace so type in canvas workspace if you've not got an account already you should make one I have my own account so it will log straight in that will bring you to the landing page of the canvas workspace I'm just going to increase the size of the document that you can see on the screen the mat if you will that you're going to place your objects on to 50% in the hope that you'll be able to see it a little bit better in the video so the next thing to do is we don't want the import an SVG or SVN because we're what we're actually wanting to do is trace the image that I've found on Google Chrome. So we need this icon here, which is the tracing icon. So you click that and then you will go through these procedures. Choose the file, find the coral which should be on your desktop if that's where you've saved it and click open. That will give you a document with the coral visible on the page. I'm just going to shrink down the bounding box around it which is this dotted red line going around the coral just so that I make sure I'm not getting anything else that's interfering with the design. Okay, Leaving the outline and the settings as what they come up, up at as um, standard default and just click preview and what we're looking for is this turquoise line that surrounds the object that you're actually wanting to trace. That's telling me that that is now traced that object. So I can say, okay. Now it will ask me, do I want to copy uh, an original image to be placed onto my workspace as well? That I can't really do anything with, but it's there for reference. But in this case, I'm going to say no. And there it's brought in that coral, which I can now fully resize various sizes, I can extend it with lengthways and widthways independently or I can do it proportionally if I drag from a corner it makes it proportionally bigger now just so you can see it a little bit better I'm going to go on to the view menu use properties and I'll colour it in so you can see the nice cor corally colour Okay, so that's what it was looking like. So it's not quite nice. Cut it out of different coloured cardstock to include in your cards. So now what? Now we need to save the file. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm firstly going to save it into my Canvas Workspace working programme, which is stored in the cloud. So I'm going to call it Coral, sorry, Coral 1 
just in case I decide to do some more and I will then click this button which overwrites the project. Now just be careful about doing that if you've dragged in something from your project and you're going to overwrite it, it's always better to start with a new file in the first instance so that you're not in any danger of doing that and if you subsequently drag, drag things in to use in your software it's not going to delete everything for you okay so now that which should be saved into my projects and if I just click on the my project tab you will see and that that file has indeed been saved as one of my projects it seems that the space is working a little bit slowly, but there you can see it's saved there. Okay, and these are just other previous um, files that I've worked on, some of them for my craft room and crafting um, adventures, if you will. Um, some of them have been used um, for teaching purposes. I've made some quadrats for sampling. A, a pretend field and that's what that is so lots of things you can do and use your canvas workspace I use mine for work and also for pleasure because my um, passion is um, paper crafting stamping um, anything crafty really I like making 3d projects um, I'll absolutely love my scan and cut it's open so many um, avenues of possibilities for me and I'm just learning and learning and learning all the time um, so that's basically how you trace the image. So now, if I went on to view and you just wanted to see the cut line, that's what you would actually cut out. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> the next thing to do would be to download it. So you would maybe keep the same file name, click download, and it will give you your options to download. When I click download, it's going to give me the option of where I'd like to save it and for ease again I'm going to save it to my desktop and that will now have saved that as an FCM cutting file okay so I'm going to close this down now and we'll go to where we've created that file and you can see on the desktop now we've got a file called coral underscore one dot FCM which is a brother scan and cut file. Okay, so what you would do then is take a USB, okay, and you would save that file to your memory stick, or if you're lucky enough to have a more advanced version of your 